in John chapter 20, verses 21 through 23, Jesus has just risen from the dead. And now the Prince of Peace appears to his disciples and says for the second time, peace be with you. And this peace he imparts to them is now manifest in the Holy Spirit, for it says he breathes on them and says, receive the Holy Spirit. Now there's a certain play on words and even a play on action here as Jesus breathes, the word for breath and spirit are the same. And so he does this not only symbolically, but literally to say the spirit of God is now imparted upon the church. And it is even further explained in the next verse where he says, whosoever sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Whoever sins you do not forgive, they're not forgiven. Well, what does he mean? This is what we call the keys of the kingdom. Christ gives the spiritual authority that he and the father have through the spirit to the church. So that now we as personal Christians, sure, we answer to God, but authority is in the church itself, we can't forget that, especially as Protestants. God has given us the church and has given authority to the church. And this is for our good. This is for our well-being. This is for our growth. A lot of times we want to say, well, we don't, I only answer to God. Only God could judge me, this type of thing. But remember, Jesus says here, no, the church has the authority to judge, not one man, not just one single institution. That There's not like one uh, person that decides all, but we understand this elders and deacons are put into place and installed and are chosen in a correct way, there's a certain spiritual authority that's given to them.